In this part two video, we're gonna take a look at that finished Photoshop file. So if I just pull out the layers here in Photoshop, you can see that I've renamed every single layer that we have. Uh, as you take an eyeball off one, you can see there's the right hand, the right forearm, the right upper arm, the right shoulder, the upper body. I split the body into an upper and a lower body. You got the pelvis, right upper leg, and so on and so on. At the very bottom was the original layer. If I hide that one, you see nothing really disappears except two little chunks. We can really get rid of that layer completely and just trash it. Make sure you save this file. And now that everything is correctly named, <clears throat> we're gonna take it from here and we're gonna bring it into Adobe Animate. So I'm gonna minimize this for a moment. I'll keep it open just in case we need to make changes, but go down to the bottom on your dock, click on Adobe Animate. Once this opens up and you get the uh, welcome screen to create a new document, click on Action Script 3.0. Once you've got that, we're gonna go down into the uh, timeline at the bottom, click on that first frame, and we need to now import what we just did in Photoshop. So we're going to go to File, Import, Import to Stage. And then at that point, we have to find the image that we uh, just created. So the one that we just created was this one, bunnyaction.psd, with all the different layers in it. This is what's going to come up, the little import um, uh, window. And when you see here, it says select all layers. They're all selected. You can even, what I what I tend to do here is just uh, hold shift, click the top one, hold shift, go all the way down, click the bottom one. They're all selected. And then on the right-hand side here, we're going to create each one into a, a movie clip. Like we had done in the, um, in the last project, this allows us to now uh, move the pieces. And we'll explain further in class. But for now, uh, lossy compression is fine. Use published settings. Single animate layer is fine for now. Uh, create movie clip and then we're going to hit import place objects at original position is fine import now once it comes up you can zoom out you can do uh, command minus and zoom out a little bit so you can see it uh, if you need to if your image is uh, too large if your puppet is too large your action figure you can click on the free transform tool here just click away grab the entire thing click on that free transform button and we should be able to resize it Sometimes you have to select it all first and then go to that uh, on the side here, free transform tool. There we go. And you can hold shift to make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to keep it about that size. I'll move it into the middle for now. And we are almost ready to begin to animate. So from here, we're going to do command plus. Just make it a little bit larger. Uh, i got to bring it up a little bit. That looks good. About 78% for me. All right. So I'm on that first frame. You see here it brought in the, the bunny action.psd. It also has a layer one underneath. But right now you're on that bunny action or whichever one you have, .psd first frame. And then we're going to go over to, I have the whole thing selected, by the way. So you can just make sure you have all the pieces selected. We're going to go over to our toolbar on this side, and we're going to select the bone tool. Regular bone tool, not the bind tool right now, just the bone tool. And then from there, what we're going to do is create a bone structure underneath this um, character. So to do that, what I'm going to do is click from the pelvis up to the body and let go. Then I'm gonna click from the body to the next piece, which was the upper body, and let go. Then from here, this beginning point of the pelvis, I'm gonna pull and drag to the beginning of where the leg is, and where the knee is, and then where the foot is. I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. Basically what you're doing here is you're creating a bone structure and you're connecting, you're telling the computer how to connect the different movie clips that it just imported from Photoshop. From here is a little tricky because we're going to try to kind of click from the shoulder and touch that little shoulder piece. So by accident there I made a mistake so I'm going to got to zoom in a little bit. So from here I'm pulling to this piece and then from there I'm pulling to sort of the middle of the arm. There we go. And then from that piece to the middle of the forearm and then from the forearm down to the beginning of the hand or so. Looks good. We're going to do the same thing on the other side from this piece to here. Oops, I made a mistake. There we go. There we go. And make sure you're touching the new piece. There we go. And drag it down to the hand. Good, everything looks good. I'm also going to actually pull from this middle point up to where the head is. And then from the head, I am going to connect the ears on one side, ear on the other side. And then the top of the ear, which I also separated and made into new layers in Photoshop before. So the entire bone structure now, uh, you can see, is all connected. And then simply all you must do from here is go down into your frames, 
We'll create one that's 300 to give you a little room to breathe here. I'm going to go all the way to 300. When I get to 300, I'm going to click on the frame. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say insert pose. And you'll notice that automatically that entire line from the first frame all the way to 300 becomes green. And you'll also notice that over here it says armature uh, and the number one. So it's our first armature layer. That's telling you that it is all connected with the bone tool, which is what you just did. And then from there, the rest of the process is very easy because all you must do now is take your cursor, go to whichever frame you want. So example, let's say by frame 10, if I click on frame 10, all I have to do now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, is take the, um, I could take the bone tool or I could take the selection tool, go right up to a piece like the hand, let's just say, and I pull. And as I pull, you'll see everything is connected, right? And as I pull back on it, as I turn on it, and I can pull at any of those points. So you gotta get, a, get used to pulling on these pieces, pulling on the dots, making them work the way that you want. All right, and again, you don't wanna make huge changes. Got it? And you kinda kinda pull and make, make it. Right, so I'm gonna undo a couple of steps here. Just to show you again. So go to frame 10, click on it, move the hand a little bit, perfect. So now if, you go, if I go back to one and then I drag to 10, you see the movement that's beginning to happen. And you can do this, I'm gonna to go to 20, I'll move this one. All right? And you begin to see the movement that is taking place. So by the end of this, you can have some very interesting movements of your character. There are gonna be some gaps right now, and that's okay. We're just learning to use the bone tool here. Okay, and so now when I play it back, so you can kind of make them dance a little bit and move around a whole bunch, um, which is totally fine. And then from there, we can add a background to this. So we can add a new layer, bring that underneath on that layer now, go to the first frame and import. And we're gonna do this import from something that we draw in um, Adobe Illustrator. So for example, if I import to the stage, this background same thing's going to happen it's going to ask me if i want to import all of these uh, i'm going to say yes i'm going to select them all i'm going to import them all as movie clips i'm going to say import and you'll notice what they do they bring in each one kind of like that when i'm on the first frame here if i right click on this first frame at the bottom and i tell it i'm going to kind of click on it right there sorry on that first frame, right click. I have to select the whole thing. I'm gonna lock the armature and lock the bunny. I'm just gonna select this. When I right click on it, I have the option to um, distribute to layers. And if I do that, you now can see that it broke up that Illustrator file into the layers that were already in it. There were layers for smoke, for the grass, for the buildings, for the clouds, for the sky. And I can go into each one individually now and move them on the first frame to the starting point where I want them to be. So like I can move this here, move this kind of in the background, um, I can put the buildings behind the bunny, I can put the floor kind of there uh, on any of these pieces. And then for you'll notice that they go the length up, up to 300 so they match up. I can go to any point on any of these frames, right click, and it create motion tweens. Which means the first one, the building, starts right there on frame one, but by the time it gets to, let's say, frame 80, I could click and drag like we did in our last project. And I could go to the grass. I could go to the clouds, let's say. Let's go to one of the clouds, there we go. Right, so you see the change that's beginning to happen. So if I did it if it's a window, it looks like this right now. If you want to test it out, you can go to uh, test control and test. And you can see kind of what's happening there. All right, so that is uh, using the bone tool a bit.
we'll get into more detail in class, uh, but that's the second part of the video, and you should have your uh, uh, action figure all set up at this point in Photoshop and bring it into Animate CC.